It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, I believe, in verse 19, do you not know, speaking to Christians, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit whom you have of God? You are not your own. You have bought, been bought with a price. So glorify God with your body. And the point is that when you give your life to Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God dwells in your physical body. You become a temple of the Holy Spirit. And as a temple of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will not tolerate any sin in your life. And so the Holy Spirit begins the process of cleansing you from all unrighteousness, cleansing you from all your sin, from all your dirty thoughts, from all that garbage that comes out of your mouth. He cleans your hands, not just physically, but figuratively. He guides your feet, he guides your mind, and you begin to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the way do you do that? How do you do that? Read the Bible. Read the Bible. You know, the Bible is the greatest book of Western civilization. No book has a greater influence upon this world than the book of the Bible. The Bible is the best-selling book year after year. You don't see that in New York Times, because the New York Times is a demonic institution that hates God. It's an antichrist institution. And they won't show you that the Bible is the best-seller. But you know what? Most people in the United States of America have never read. I love it. I've read the Bible cover to cover. I've read the Bible in English. I've read the Bible from cover to cover in Spanish. I've read a lot of portions of it when I was in seminary in Hebrew and Greek. And I'm not saying that to show off. Maybe I am a little showing off. Hey, have you even read the Bible? I love it going out preaching on the street and then people start arguing me about the Bible. And I say, I ask them one question. Have you ever read the Bible? And so here they are spouting off about a book that they know nothing about and that they've never read. And so you know what their questions, their, their, their thoughts are? They have no weight because they've never read the Bible. So get yourself a Bible. They're cheap. You can buy them off of Amazon for $2. <clears throat> I bought a bunch of my gave them away. I got one here, I think. Yeah, I got a Bible here if you want a Bible. I've got a Gospel of John. I've got a Gospel of John. I've got a Gospel of John in Espanol. Si quieres leer la Biblia en Espanol, tengo una Biblia en Espanol. All you have to do is come and ask. I'm glad to give it to you. <coughs> so that's what I'm calling you all today. I'm calling you all to faith in Jesus Christ. Take time to read the Bible. I dare you. I dare you to read the Bible. The greatest literature that has ever been in Western civilization and Eastern civilization. There's so few people have read the Bible. It's not enough just to read a little portion of the Bible, but if you do, that's okay. My recommendation is read the book of John. And the reason is the book of John, the guy who wrote the book of John was a disciple of Jesus Christ, and he said, I write these things to you so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, and in believing in him, you might have eternal life. That's why he wrote the book of John. He talks all about who Jesus Christ is, the son of the living God, fully God and fully man. He starts out the book of John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Contrary to what the Jehovah Witnesses will tell you, no witnesses want to tell you that Jesus was just a God. No, no witnesses are a false religion. They mutilate the Greek. They don't know what they're doing. And they tell you that Jesus was just a God. Well, that's awful convenient for them because who wants to follow God? He's <coughs> just a, an angel. Jesus Christ is the second person of the Holy Trinity. God is one being. Christianity, biblical Christianity, is not polytheistic, contrary to what many people believe. Biblical Christianity is monotheistic, which means we believe in a self-existing God who created heavens and earth, 
that is separate from the creation, and that this God, the God of the Bible, is self-existing. But he exists as the Father, as the Son, and as the Holy Spirit. And God, the Trinity of God, shows us how we could have unity and complexity in the same universe. Do you know even the word universe? testifies to the Trinitarian nature of God. Uni, in the word universe, uni means one, and verse comes from the word diverse, and means many. So the universe is talking about this creation that we have of the one and the many. And biblical Christianity solves this problem of how you can have universals and particulars because we have a God who is unity.